everybody, thank you for watching. So today's video is going to be 10 items that you need in your Ulta cards. I did this video maybe like two months ago or so, but it was 10 items that I think that you need in your Sephora card. And a lot of people requested that I do it for Ulta as well, so that's exactly what we are doing today. I have five drugstore affordable type of products, and then I have five more high-end products that I'm gonna share with you, totaling 10 things that you need in your Ulta card. I also tried to do brands that you can't find at Sephora. So if you are ready to see 10 products that I think you need to put in your Ulta card, if you don't have them already, why don't we go ahead and get started? So first up, I'm going to start with some eyeshadow palettes. The first one that I would recommend, if you do not own this one yet, is the BH Cosmetics and Carly Bible eyeshadow palette. This is the deluxe edition eyeshadow palette. So inside you are getting 21 eyeshadows and also highlighters in here. This is what it looks like on the inside. There is a big old mirror here and you have all of these eyeshadows and then you have all of these beautiful highlighters. This is a fantastic palette. I mentioned it recently in my favorite limited edition makeup video. I will leave that one linked down below. I just think it is such good quality for only $22.50. You are getting everything in this palette and that is not bad, especially compared to what some other drugstore brands are doing to us right now. Okay? Okay. I was really excited when BH Cosmetics did come into Ulta. I have been buying from BH Cosmetics for a very long time because of Carly Bible. Carly Bible was the first beauty YouTuber that I ever started watching on YouTube. And she was always using BH Cosmetics and recommending BH Cosmetics. And to a beginner like me back then, I bought a lot of BH Cosmetics, a lot of BH brushes, a lot of BH eyeshadows. I had a ton from BH Cosmetics. So I thought that was really cool to see Carly do a collaboration with a more affordable brand. They are a recent brand to Ulta. Ulta has been getting so many new brands in, which is very exciting and made this video even more fun to do, to be quite honest. So I was excited to see BH in there because they are a more affordable brand. And now you can get some of their items over at Ulta. Like I said, this is $22.50 and you are getting a ton of different eyeshadows and a huge variety of highlighters down here, whatever you like for your highlight there's some sort of option in here. So I think this is absolutely beautiful and I would highly recommend if you do not own it yet and everything that I'm mentioning, of course, will be linked down below. A more high-end eyeshadow palette that I would also recommend. This is from Dose of Colors. This is the Marvelous Mauve's eyeshadow palette. I was new to trying Dose of Colors this year. This is another brand that is new to coming in Ulta. Dose of Colors you can only find online at Ulta. A lot of times when they are bringing in new brands such as Dose of Colors, they don't have inventory in the physical stores yet. You can only get them online. So I did want to point that out with Dose of Colors, but I was so excited to see them come into Ulta and I immediately started purchasing items from them. The Marvelous Mauve's eyeshadow palette though is so good. If mauves are not your thing, they do also have a baked browns eyeshadow palette that everybody says is just as fantastic as the mauve one. So if browns are more of your shade, I would suggest getting the baked browns. You do get five eyeshadows. They are, of course, in the mauve family, and this is a very cool tone palette. I know a lot of people say they get pretty frustrated with all the warm tones that are coming out. So if you do like cool tones and you do like mauves, I would suggest this palette. It does have the mirror here. It also comes with a brush, and the brush is actually pretty decent. I do use the brush quite often, which is pretty shocking with eyeshadow palettes because typically I cast the brush aside, but that one is very good. I take this one traveling with me a lot. I love reaching for it. I think the eyeshadows are super high quality. There is a ton of kick up with this palette, so don't be alarmed when you first start using it. Just make sure you tap your brush off very, very well before you go in with the shadows on your eyes. This palette is going to run you $32, but again, I do think it is very good quality eyeshadow palettes, so I would recommend Marvelous Moss eyeshadow palette from Dose of Colors. So a drugstore lipstick that I highly recommend and that I own so many of and I've been buying for so long is from NYX Cosmetics. These are the soft matte lip creams. I'm always talking about the soft matte lip creams. I got asked the other day on Twitter what is like a holy grail item that I would recommend from Alta and my answer was the NYX soft matte lip cream. Like I said, I do own quite a bit of these. I've repurchased several shades. This one right here is Abu Dhabi. I've repurchased this one. I know I have repurchased London. I think they are really nice. They feel very soft on the lips but they are matte. They are not completely transfer proof, but they do last a long time and they're very easy to build up and they have a huge variety of colors. Like no matter what color it is that you want to get, they are going to have it. On the Alta website, these run about $6. Sometimes NYX does a special for, you know, buy one, get one free. So I always just kind of keep an eye out for that if there's any colors that I need to stack up on with the NYX lipsticks. But if you are looking for a good drugstore lipstick, I do recommend the NYX soft matte lip creams. A more high-end lipstick that I absolutely enjoy. This is a new one to me as well because this is a new brand to Ulta. Yes, I mean, I love Ulta's reward points. Okay, you guys, like, I can't, like, Ulta reward system 
It's friggin' bomb. It's way better than Sephora in my opinion. But these are the Ofra Liquid Lipsticks. So I tried the Ofra Liquid Lipsticks for the first time just a couple months ago and I immediately fell in love with them. This shade in particular is Manila. I believe I'm wearing it in my last video which was my makeup declutter video. I'm wearing Manila in there and I just think it is absolutely gorgeous. It is such a beautiful nude. I also really enjoy Bel Air from Ofra. Those are two of my favorites right now from Ofra but I highly recommend these. They say that they are long lasting liquid lipsticks and I would agree. I used a liquid lipstick. I can't remember if it was Manila or Bel Air in my sweat proof makeup test it video and I put this on in the afternoon. I ate dinner with it. I went and played volleyball in like 90 degree heat and my lipstick looked fantastic at the end of the night. Like even I was amazed. I was amazed at that. So I do highly recommend these. I think they're very comfortable on the lips. They are not super drying but they look really beautiful. Again, if you like nudes, if you have like my type of skin tone and you enjoy nudes, I would suggest checking out Manila. These are $17 on the Ulta website and I highly recommend the Ofra Liquid Lipsticks. If you are looking for a good makeup tool that is also affordable, I highly recommend that you add the L'Oreal Makeup Sponge to your cart because this is one of my absolute favorite makeup sponges. This is $7.99, which is not a bad price at all. I love the shape of it. I love this real pointed tip that helps you really get up in there underneath the eyes. It's been hands down one of my favorite beauty sponges. I need to add another one to my cart because this one has been washed over and over and over and over and over again because even though I have so many sponges, like I'm looking at all of them right now, I have so many sponges. I keep finding myself reaching for this one because I just think it is one of the best. So if you really enjoy beauty sponges to apply your makeup with and you're looking for a more affordable option than something like the beauty blender which is in the $20 range I suggest you look at the L'Oreal one. I'm gonna include some skincare in here as well and I thought I would mention a sheet mask. I just mentioned this in my favorites portion of my makeup monthly recently. I'll have that one linked down below but it is the Patchology Smart Mud No Mess mud mask. I love these because I love things like mud masks and charcoal masks and masks that really suck everything out of your pores. I find myself using mud masks a lot on either Sundays or Mondays, like recovering from the weekend, getting everything out of your skin, out of your pores. That is what I reach for. But I always struggled with traditional masks because they are so messy. Like your hands are messy, your hair is messy, your sink is messy, the towels to wash your face, everything is messy. That was the only thing that would frustrate me about them to the point where I actually started using them only in my shower because it was just so much easier to rinse everything away and make my shower dirty instead of my sink. I know, it's crazy, but that is a true story. That is what I've really done. When I started trying the Patchology sheet masks, it is how it says a no mess mud mask. There is no mess to this. It's a really cool. It actually is in two sections. So you take them off and I just put it right on my face because it's like extremely sticky. And then I just peel off the protective layering. And you do the bottom half of your face and then the top half of your face. And all you have to do is leave it on for 10 minutes. One thing I really like about the Patchology masks is that you don't have to leave them on for like the 20 or 30 minutes like you have to do for some masks. They have a ton of five minute sheet masks. This one is a 10 minute one. And at 10 minutes, you just take it off and throw it away. There's no mess to it. Sometimes there is a little bit of like residue left over on your face but once you first rinse it real quick like boom you're done not even your towel's gonna get dirty it's pretty amazing so i do enjoy the patchology masks these are more expensive at eight dollars but if you are someone like me who you love sheet masks and sometimes you pay a little bit extra for a really good sheet mask i would say check out the patchology no mess mud mask foundation that I recently tried out this year but ended up falling in love with. I know this has been mentioned in a favorites category in the past. This is from number seven. This is their Stay Perfect foundation. It's actually the foundation that I am wearing today. Really number seven on a whole has very much intrigued me this year. I was able to try them out for the first time because they did send me over a PR package and I have just been loving everything from them, from their foundation. I have their bronzer and blush on today, their concealer. I've been trying out their skincare and I highly enjoy it as well. If you haven't checked out number seven, I really do suggest that you do, but if you've been looking for a new foundation, I would suggest checking out the Stay Perfect foundation. It is a medium coverage foundation. I just like the way it sits on my skin. I like the way it makes my skin look. I just, mm. Mm, I really enjoy reaching for this. My shade, if you are curious, I'm wearing warm beige right now. I've also worn cool beige, and I like both of them on my skin in case you want a point of reference for shade matching. This is $15.99, so I kind of feel like number seven can kind of get up there in price a little bit, but you can find them at drugstores like Walgreens as well. And you know, at Ulta sometimes they'll have specials, and then I've even seen specials at Walgreens. I have also seen these at Walgreens um, with testers, which is very rare for drugstores to 
be able to let us test and try to shade match in the actual store. So when I saw that number seven had a whole wall of testers with all of their different foundations, their different lip colors and things like that, I was even more impressed. So if you're looking for a good medium coverage kind of all day wear foundation, because I've put that one to the test with this, I'd recommend the number seven Stay Perfect. So this brand is not new to Ulta. They've been sold at Ulta for quite some time, many, many years now, but this product is new to the line. And now I just saw like five days ago, maybe that these items are now at Ulta and I got so excited. I wanted to tell everybody it is the pure false eyelashes. You need to put these in your cart. You need to put these in your cart and then you need to thank me later and everything will be A-OK -okay because these are my favorite lashes at the moment. I talk about them so much. If you follow me on Instagram and I'm always sharing like makeup photos and things like that, if you look at the caption, it is pure lashes, pure lashes, pure lashes, pure lashes. I own so many pure lashes. It's a little out of hand and now that they're at Ulta, I'm even more excited because again, Ulta's reward point system freaking racks. They're $14 lashes, so they are pretty pricey, but it says right here in the box up to 30 wears. I'm telling you guys, you can get more. You can get more out of it, just clean your lashes. You can get so many uses out of these. It's one of my favorite styles. This is in Diva. It is actually what I have on my eyes today. I also love Bombshell. Uh, Flirt is one of my favorite styles and also Trendsetter. I think they have six different styles in general, but I think they only have three right now. Hold on, I have it pulled up. So Bombshell, Diva, and Socialite. Those are the styles that are, are available at Ulta right now. I'm not sure if the other three are coming. Socialite wasn't my favorite for me. They just weren't like my vibes when it comes to false eyelashes. I have very like specific false eyelashes that I enjoy, but Bombshell and Diva, those are available at Ulta. I would highly recommend them. If you like more like funky lashes, maybe check out the socialite ones, but really, if you love wearing false lashes, if you're just, if you're a false eyelash girl, you gotta add these to your cart today. We're gonna end with a couple of different concealers. I have one drugstore and one high-end to recommend for your Ulta cart. The first one, which is drugstore, is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This bad boy right here, I have been buying and buying and rebuying for so many years. It is one of my absolute favorite concealers. This is what it looks like. You can see that already, you know, this one, this one we're about to say goodbye to and I'm going to repurchase it because this has to be in my collection. This was one of the first like real concealers that I ever started buying and I just hit the jackpot with it for sure. I've definitely repurchased this over and over and over again. This is what the applicator looks like. So it's really different. It's like kind of like soft and squishy, but truly this is amazing for covering dark circles. To be honest, I don't struggle with dark circles. Like I know some people struggle with that on kind of a daily basis. I would highly recommend this. And even if you're someone who you only get them on nights where you've had really crummy sleep, like I did last night and you need some help, then you gotta go with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind because it covers up the dark circles so well. I like that I typically buy is fair because then it's also really, really light on my eyes because I kind of like the lighter concealers to really brighten up my under eyes at the same time. This is about $8, between eight and $9. Typically I see it at Ulta. Maybelline is typically always running some sort of deal, not only at Ulta, but you know, at Walgreens and CV. Yes, I see, you know, the different sales over there too. So if you're looking to find a fabulous new concealer that is also drugstore and you haven't for some reason tried out the Instant Age Rewind, then you gotta do it. And to end with a high-end concealer that I would recommend, this is the Tarte Shape Tape. Now I know some of you might be thinking that Tarte is also sold at Sephora and that is very correct, but if you did not know, Shape Tape is an Ulta exclusive, so you will not find Shape Tape at Sephora. Tarte, I noticed, has a lot of Sephora exclusive and Ulta exclusive products, and Shape Tape happens to be an Ulta exclusive product. So I wanted to add it in here because this is one of my all-time favorite concealers. Everybody lost their minds when Shape Tape was released, and I was right there. I was right there losing my mind with them because I love this concealer. My shade that I typically get is in light medium. This is a full coverage concealer and like I said I did not sleep well last night I had to pull out the shape table full coverage but it is also very light on the skin I have tried concealers that are full coverage but are very very heavy very cakey on the under eyes like the under eyes is kind of the last area where you want anything really heavy because that is such a thin skin on your face you need something that is thin, but you also need something that is full coverage. That is the shape tape. It blends out so well. I do not have any problems with creasing with this. It's definitely one of my favorites. It is $25, so that is expensive for a concealer. I have had this one for quite some time, and I can tell that I'm starting to get down there. I'm going to have to add it to my cart because I can't be without my shape tape, and I think that you should too. 
Alright guys, so that is going to be it for the 10 products that I would recommend for your Ulta cart. I was going to wait and post this video next week since the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty is going on right now, but then I thought in case there's any of the beauty steals or the hot buys that you want to buy for this week, but maybe you need just, you know, a few extra dollars for free shipping or if you're going to be making a long drive into Ulta and you don't want to drive for just one product, I thought I could get it up for this week. The sale does end Saturday the 23rd uh, in case you needed any extra recommendations during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty event. I I do have a full recommendations video as well. I will also have that one linked down below. I do hope that you guys found this video helpful. Let me know some of your favorite products that you always pick up from Alta down in the comments down below. And if you did enjoy this video, I hope that you will give it a thumbs up. I hope that you will also consider subscribing before you go. And I'll catch you guys real soon in my next one. Bye.